Okay, so like was said earlier today about being just a teacher, I'm just the librarian. But when it comes to your multiplayer game that was just mentioned and you're looking for those people to collaborate with, we're the ones to go to. Come find us. Um, about this time last year, we had a long-term English sub in seventh grade, and she came to me and said, hey, I want to bring all the kids down for each period, and let's teach them some library skills and how to find information and resources. And so I figured she's doing this multiple periods a day with big groups of kids, and so how can we make this kind of self-directed and easily repeatable? And so I used Google Forms to create a setup that was a library scavenger hunt that could split the kids into teams. It's kind of goofy looking, I guess. It's not one slide per page here. But anyway, we split them into the English team, the history team, the math team, the science team. And while some classes on the forms overlapped because it's general stuff that they all have got to know about the library. Other things were specific to how they were classified, and so it might be digging into a database specific to a history-oriented question or a science-oriented question. And this was all set up so that they could work their way through it, but at the same time, they were kind of racing in competition against the other three groups to see who could get to the end of everything first. Um, if we scroll it up a little. And you can keep going a little bit more. Okay, so it had them practice their teamwork, but still have that sense of competition and kind of got a hurry to beat everybody else. Um, there were different jobs assigned because we're using the Google Forms and everybody was stationed at a different position around the library on a library computer. Somebody might be the one to read off the question or type in the answers while somebody else on the team was the one in the run to go find the book or bring back materials or run something up to us at the circulation desk. So they all kind of had to cooperate. And what makes it sort of automated is the idea of the answer verification feature feature that you can turn on in the Google form because they could find the resources and then have to type in a particular thing for the answer they found. And the trick to that is down there at the bottom, it's putting in that caret and that dollar sign to surround what your expected answer is and setting that fill-in choice as a regular expression. That makes the Google form check for the exact correct string of text in the answer, and if they get it right, it lets them hit next and go to the next part of the slide. If not, it gives them the little try again error message, so they know they might have to fix their spelling or take another look to come up with the right thing. Um, we did this where it was kind of hands-on finding things, but also running back to the terminal. So they start out in their four pre-assigned teams. The teacher kind of grouped them the way she wanted to. And their first task was to go find, using our library catalog, somewhere in the library a book that had a video game in the title. The name of a game had to be included in the title somewhere. So we've got books on like Mario Brothers and Assassin's Creed and Halo, and they run off and look them up in the catalog find them in the correct shelf position, zip it back up to me at the desk, and then if they met the criteria by bringing back one of the right types of books, I gave them a little laminated card which had the first password on it that gets them into the various stages of their Google form. And in this case, we did it where each of the four teams, I just used a famous wizard from uh, fiction that we would find in one of our library books and they would take that card back, type it into the thing. If they spelled everything the right way and hit next, it brought them into the next stage of their project. So if we scoot it down a little bit. I put a link there for anybody that wants to try it out. It will jump you out to uh, getting into the scavenger hunt that was listed also on the agenda. You can click it from there. So they've got a word processing document open, they put their team name on it, they ran and found the right book, they're into the index card, type in the stuff, and now they're into the catalogs and the searching and the databases. And for the first one, if you choose to try it, it's the Wizard Raceland from the old Dragonlance series. So that's the one you need to get started. 
And if we scroll on down a little. And because you're not at our library to find all the materials, I gave you a cheat sheet there at the bottom. So those are the various answers you would fill in if you chose to work your way through the project and see how it works. They're just mixed up and not in the right order, but you can figure it out pretty easy based on what the questions are asking you to do. So if you want to take a minute, you can scoot through it and we'll start uh, prepping for our next presenter. <laughs> 